For today's episode of Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places, we begin alongside US Highway 301, just north of Dade City. And it begins with an abandoned roadside barbecue restaurant, George and Gladys. Sign right there says since 1957, although it's been a long time since George and Gladys's has been open. Doesn't look like they're keeping up with the property. A lot of growth here coming out of the sidewalk before the main door. Let's see if we can peek inside. It's a little hazy. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Take me back to the 1970s. Wow. Although it looks very old in there, it's very vintage. I think this may have been open not only Maybe two or three years ago. Beef pork since 1957, barbecue, ribs and chicken. I wonder if it was any good. I bet it was pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the restrooms. Just walking all the way around it. Yeah, I'd say at least two or three years since this place has been open. And on the corner of this side of the building, the piggy is looking out, actually south to 301. He's like, oh my gosh, thank goodness they're not open anymore. I would have been lunch. Welcome back to Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places, a series I began in the summer of 2020. Right here in Florida, checking out the back roads, the nooks and crannies, along the Florida highways and out in the middle of nowhere this is some of my favorite content to create guys I always appreciate you coming along and exploring most of the time places for the first time ever on video with me vicariously really appreciate you coming out and I hope you enjoy today's episode we're heading here into Pasco County a little further an area that I have not been before there's much ahead and so we begin at the United States Post Office of Lacucci about a mile off of 301. This is State Road 575. There's a little town called Lacucci. About three miles northeast of us, you have the With Lacucci River. Just to set things up to put things into perspective, back that way, in between here and 301, there's a little town. Also, it goes out this way a little bit, fans out, kind of off the beaten path. No one really comes out here. There are three towns, three towns within a mile on State Road 575 here, you have Lacucci, you have Trill Lacucci, and Trilby. Three towns, all in one. Very unique spot. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to get up here. Very not busy post office here on this Saturday. I can hear roosters crowing in the background. And an old structure over here. Look at that old tin roof with the rust on it. What is that? Walking towards this old structure that sits right along the highway. Not much going on with these three towns I'm about to show you around today. They are forgotten. No one really comes out here unless you live here. I guess that's how it goes. Looks like this used to be some sort of a mechanic shop maybe. A general store. I think someone, ooh, roosters. I think someone still might be using it for something. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, just an old shop here, just sitting by the road. And come down around the railroad tracks, there's that last building we were checking out, Sam's Quick Mart, across the street from these old buildings. Look at this, one called The Junction. Pool and Games, looks like it's an old billiards hall. Closed, open, closed. <laughs> Friday, maybe they're only open on Fridays. It looks like it hasn't opened in quite some time, but it could be only open on Fridays, as the sign says in the window. The Junction Pool Hall sits right next to 575. Also, this building right next to it. Like the red stars on the peak of each roof there. Look at that. Taking a left off of 575 here on Bower Road, going over these railroad tracks, the main grid is back here of Lacucci. Let's see what's going on. I think I saw something very cool. And there are some very old houses back here. This is very deep. Beyond this fence, this perimeter, 
of this old plant back here. Ancient water tower. That's an old one. Shooting through the chain link fence here, actually double chain link, there's two fences, at one of the legs of the tower. Look at this beauty. All the way up, right underneath that truck going by behind me there. As Arnie would say from What's Eating Gilbert Grape, I wanna go up there. Might need a tetanus shot first though, that thing is really rusty. Also a lot of holes in the bottom of it. Look at that, you see all the holes? And just a couple, and about 50 yards down from the tower, this gate is the entrance to what looks to be some sort of silo or elevator that sits beyond the railroad tracks. If a train car was to come in there, it would go underneath that awning to the right of that giant silo. It looks like it's being used. The yard's being kept. It's not sitting vacant. Just very cool to see this structure. It reminds me of, you know, being out in rural Indiana, seeing hundreds of silos like these along the railroad tracks. And I took a, a wrong turn down this gravel road here in Lacoochee. Some old houses back in here. It's a dirt cul-de-sac. I'm gonna turn around. Oh my gosh, it's Leatherface home. It's really cool though. It's a neat old yard, old cracker house. A lot of plants, pretty. There's the water tower in the distance. Just to show you where I just was, that cul-de-sac right behind me on the other side of these railroad tracks. Some really old homes out here still being lived in. There's one on the corner. That's over a hundred years old. Look at that. Pink houses, ain't that America? These ones look very similar. All three of those, almost the same. And this one on the corner of Bower and Chase Street. I think that one's sitting vacant. All right, back out on State Road 575, parked along the shoulder. I saw this beyond the fence here. Had to share this. This barn out here, so old. Talk about an old cracker barn sitting up on cinder block. That thing, I'd say at least 100 years old and it's in great shape. Whoever owns this property out here is proud of it and is taking good care. And now back to 301, the second town today of the three towns. We have Trill Lacucci again. Lacucci behind me and Trilby just past Trill Lacucci, past 301 up there. Just to show you what's going on here. Three towns, three forgotten Florida towns. Also barking dog across the street. Actually, this is kind of funny. There's a barking dog. Hey buddy, how about a milk phone? And right there is the sign for Lacucci. So Lacucci, Trill Lacucci, and then eventually Trilby. Sorry to bug you, buddy. Sorry. I parked on the corner of 301 and 575, Pasco's finest, Pasco County Fire Rescue coming out of station right there. foot because there's quite a few things right here I want to see including that building right there looks like it's sitting abandoned oh it looks like it's a large call all apparatus <laughs> It's not a good thing when you see the tanker truck and the ambulance leave behind a fire truck. Hope everyone's okay. Across the street, this building sitting vacant right now on the corner of 301. It has seen better days. Look at Mother Nature, the ivy taking a toll upon it. Looks like some of those windows are open. Yeah, someone unfortunately busted the window out, but we can take a look. There's nothing going on here. Completely empty. Anyone home? Looks like it may have been an old uh, restaurant or a store right along the highway. Hello? Yeah, there's a bunch of glass here. Watch your step. 
and I'm just making my way up 575 going back towards Lacucci. There's some stuff to see here. This old building looks like a telephone building. And most of the side streets here beyond the highway are dirt, gravel, or sand. Old structure here. Lacucci Outdoors. Someone might still own this property. Just walking along the edge of the highway. Also looks like it could have been perhaps a diner at some point. Fruit and vegetable stand. Old truck, old ranger sits here. And right beside that building, old transmission shop. Look at the muffler guy painted on the block, the blue block there in the center. Muffler man, muffler man. He's got a muffler in his hands. Who remembers that old song I used to sing? Muffler man, muffler man. Fixing everything that he can. Okay. What did I do with the money that my mom gave me for singing lessons? Spin it. And right next to the transmission shop, Pasco County Station 24. That's where we saw all the emergency vehicles just and coming wait. out of. And I hope you are joy. I hope you all are enjoying this series. There is so much planned for roadside attractions and abandoned places. Country kitchen, home style cooking with a little catfish there. Kind of reminds me of a restaurant in St. Cloud I once ate at, the Catfish Diner. Also, there's a country kitchen in there. Ooh, little uh, coincidence. Thinking of St. Cloud right now. It's a cool sign, isn't it? He's got a spatula and a fork. That's the old restaurant over there. It's seen better days. Looks like this is just uh, just the storage grounds now for some sort of tree service business. And noticing way out beyond the sign here beside the road, a Buena Vista of old Florida. See some white cranes flying across the water and out in the distance, some black Angus cows. And just a little way south of that stop here on 301, another vacant building. Looks like it says discount lumbers doors and windows. It might be an old hardware store or lumber store. The sign says for lease out here to the left. I'm noticing a lot of vandalism, a lot of broken glass in these towns. Someone threw a rock right here. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Ugh. Look at all that drywall. Man, someone, uh, I hate to see that. Always leave things as you find them. A lot of broken beer bottles, Coronas, just trash everywhere. I've seen a lot of trash today so far in this area. Yeah, this property, not secure, doors open. Walk all the way inside it. Looks like an old barn back there, perhaps where they used to store the old lumber. Yeah, these doors, wide open. Just gonna take a peek in here. Wow, old shop. There's like an old light hanging there. Some old vintage signs. And in Florida. A lot of broken glass. Gotta be careful in here. Oh yeah, it just goes outside. Abandoned hardware store. Forgotten hardware store. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, this building is gonna be bulldozed if this property's ever purchased. Wow, here's the front counter where it used to be. Yeah, it's been years since anyone's been in here. There you go. Wow. Owens Road and 301 from the main crossroads down there. A little barbecue stand here. Eli's Barbecue, Andrew. just in that little truck. And most of the streets so far, where all the houses sit along these towns that you will see today, dirt roads, sand, not much going on out here. Not much has changed. Looks like it hasn't changed in a long time either. These houses are old, not updated, just to show you what's going on out here. And it's getting hot. Summer is coming. It's right around the bed. And a little way south on 301 from Chillicoochee, possibly the only real attraction through these three towns, the Withlacoochee State Trail, which formerly was 
a set of railroad tracks, also a lost town once here called Owensboro. This is the old Owensboro Junction trailhead, just north of Dade City. And at the beginning of the trail, there's a historic marker. I'll show you that in a second, but just to show you what's going on, there's the beginning of the trail. These used to be railroad tracks that would have cut across. There's an opening over there where they went. Ancient railroad tracks, I say ancient, probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 years ago that cut across here, present day 301. Just to show you what's going on, I parked in the shade, of course. Owensboro, another lost town. The junction of Owensboro, once the intersection of two competing railroads, the South Florida Railroad, part of the Henry Plant system from Tampa, later Atlantic Coastline Railroad built in 1884 to 1885, and the Florida Railway and Navigation Company, later the Florida Central and Peninsula Railway, and eventually Seaboard Airline Railway, crossed here in 1887. That's a mouthful. A school existed here, as did a post office from 1886 to 1899 and 1902 to 1906 the Lutz brothers Lutz brothers shingle mill was located nearby circa 1895 Lutz a little town just south of here actually Chris the girl is in Lutz today creating a video she's not too far from us and it looks like there hasn't been a railroad here since 1989 when the state of Florida acquired the former rail right of way and developed the with Lacoochee State Trail so there you go and there is the start of the Withlacoochee Trail. It goes quite a ways and it actually goes through the next town, the third town on our list, right through Trilby. Making my way up this back road up to Trilby, probably one of the tiniest and oldest homes I've ever come across. Look at that. And I do see a light on in there. There is definitely power. Someone is living there. That's so cool. I live there. That's all I need. Right, Chris? That's all we need. Now it's a little tidy. <laughs> and welcome to the big town of Trilby. I was just in Manhattan a couple days ago. This blows my mind. Might be the smallest town yet on this series. There's not much going on here. That's the trail behind me. Right there. That bicyclist is on the Withlacoochee State Trail. Just to show you where we're at. Trilby Road, old Trilby Road, Trilby Cutoff. Looks like there's a power substation behind this fence here. You can make out the power lines there. And there is kind of a little downtown area just north of where we were. There's a roundabout here at the corner of 575 and Highway 98. Heading west here roundabout. Trilby and Trilby Road right here in the heart of this little town, the third town. Old wooden church. The very unique symbol there above the door. Look at this. Glorious worship center church of God in Christ. That sign says Little Brown Church established in 1897. Little Brown Church of the South. Highway is pretty busy it's right here through Trilby. 1897, that's a long time ago. Looks like it was originally the Trilby Methodist Church. There's a plaque over here, historic plaque, right there on the right side of the church. And just a little brief history of the church right there, placed by the Pasco Board of County Commissioners in 1982. Walking out west here, along Trilby Road, there's a historic marker over here and also Probably the smallest post office I've ever seen in Pasco County. This one's smaller than the last one. Wait till we get there. First, the marker. Check this out. Established as McLeod Settlement. The Clan McLeod Highlander. Trilby. In the 1870s, the community was called Macon, Hernando County. Okay, this was also called Macon. A lot of things going on here. In 1885, when it first post office opened and was renamed Trilby in 1896, after three railroads converged there, its plated streets and squares were named for characters in George Dumarier's novel, Trilby. Oh, wow. Little fun fact for you. The town once boasted a railway station, churches, a free school, bank, TV sanitarium, jail, hotel, a Masonic Hall, 
steam sawmills, grist mills, a blacksmith shop, doctor's offices, a numerous stores, in 1925 a bucket brigade, and Dade City's fire truck, which lost its water hoses on the way, could not stop the fire from destroying much of the town. Another fire taking out of town here. Okay, yeah, this was a hustling, bustling place. Don't know if that, it doesn't look old enough. Don't know if that's the post office they were talking about, but that's the one I was talking about. It's very small. So it's right across from the church here in Trilby. And just to show you the ground we covered today, that baby blue pen all the way to the right, that is the first post office that we saw today back in Lacucci. Everything runs along 575 here. We went a little way south and now we're here in Trilby. Also, it does say Macon on the map there. And the red pinpoint up here to the left, that's where we're going next to the Trilby Cemetery. So this area, if you put it all together and make it one town, there's a ton of people that live around us, but it is three different towns. And heading out of town again, just to show you, the Withlacoochee State Trail cuts right over 575, just west of Trilby here. Here's the trail again. Now an old Trilby Cemetery road, dirt road, going through this little tree tunnel, all kinds of cattle to the left and to the right. Very beautiful back here. Should be an old cemetery ahead. Just came up this gravel road, dirt road, up the hill here to the left. The cemetery, I've actually parked. There's a little driveway here parked behind, just on the other side of that tree, and a historic marker. Trilby Cemetery serving the community of Trilby, previously known as McLeod Settlement, then Macon. There you go again. The first burials in this cemetery were probably made not long after the McLeod family settled east of here in the 1870s. The earliest marked graves are in the Daniels family plot, the first dating back to 1883, which recognize each of those family members as a constant member of the Baptist Church of Macon, Florida, in addition to members of the founding McLeod family. Buried here are veterans of the war between the states, the Spanish-American War, and the World Wars I and II. Perpetual care is provided by the Trilby Cemetery Association for the permanently marked graves, as well as the now unidentified graves once marked by decorative wood markers. So there you go. Let's check this out. This is to the left of the cemetery. Welcome back to Florida Hill Country. Very peaceful out here. Not really much of a main gate. Looks like this chain link is just wide open right here. This would be the main entrance of the cemetery. Very quiet out here. Yeah, it's pretty big too. A lot bigger than I expected. It's a big cemetery. Looks like there might be some newer gravestones back towards the back of the property. We come in peace. Right in the center of the cemetery, this plot, it's got two big oak trees growing out of it. Wrought iron fence. Looks like something you'd see out west. I see a marker in there that says 29. Old headstone right in the center. I don't think we can make this out. Yeah. Very neat looking though. Wonder who this was. See if there's another headstone over here. No, just a palmetto. Okay, very interesting plot here. Two pyramids, brick, these tombs with a headstone in the middle. Look at the name on that. You see it? Butts, B-U-T-T-S. And I believe I see a date in there of 1912 to 1914. Uh, it looks like it, it, it was an infant, unfortunately, that's sad. Also, 1914 to 1915. It looks like they may have been born. Ooh, were they born on the same day? This may have been a set of twins. Although they did die at different times, but. Oh, okay. 1872 to 1912. I'm, I'm reading it now. They're, they definitely weren't twins. 1912 to 1915. Perhaps brother or sister. It's really hard to make it out. Very unique. Butts. Very unique setup.
into a lot of graveyards. Yeah, just a very unique setup here. Never seen anything quite like it. Rest in peace, my friends. And all the way to the back of the cemetery and down the hill, this little plot here. A Mickey Mouse tombstone. That is the first time I have ever seen that. That's amazing. Wow, it's so pretty out here too. What a peaceful resting place. It says on the back of the Mickey headstone, I'll hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. It's very sad. It's really neat though. First time I've ever seen a Mickey headstone. Right here in Trilby. Who would have known? Also right behind the Mickey headstone, among this tree there's some baseballs and an Ant-Man. I'll hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. I feel at peace out here. I feel a bit of sadness. I, these graves behind me, it looks to be father and son, and it's very recent. Just to show you what's going on, what I'm feeling here in this moment. Moment of silence. Watch your head. Little shack that sits out here middle of the cemetery. Sometimes, some of these older ones, I can peek inside and look, but sometimes they have restrooms out here, these older cemeteries. These could be restrooms or it just could be like a maintenance shed for whoever's taking care of the cemetery. Wish me luck. Oh, I was correct. It's a restroom. There you go. You gotta go. Trilby Cemetery. On the back side though, Looks like they're storing all the decorations that were once left out here in the cemetery. I've never actually seen this. From all this stuff like gathered up. Looks like we got Christmas stuff. Easter stuff in there. Probably stuff left over from several past Memorial Days. Just kind of neat to see here. Everything that was left for a loved one. Just kind of piled up on the back side. And a little choo-choo, little train there. On top of this headstone, William Othaniel Denny. Private First Class, U.S. Army, World War II. Born February 6, 1927. Died February 8, 1994. And right across from the cemetery, beyond the fence, out here beneath this oak tree, in the shadows now, about to get closer. It's like a Mother Mary statue, just poached up on the oak tree. Someone put a flower basket. Just randomly sitting out here. Winds pick it up. hill, tree, just letting the camera roll. Peaceful cemetery. All right, now it's time to leave and I always have to say this, getting in my car, but no one follow me home. I came in peace, I leave in peace. Thanks for having us everyone. And thanks for watching. Now cutting through the far east side of Lacucci again, heading to the With Lacucci River. Looks like this gravel road will take us the whole way. Okay, so I took that dirt road all the way east of Lacucci, and it dead ends right here. Look at this. With Lacucci State Forest, Richland Wildlife Management Area. So, I'm out here because if I walk, I believe this way, if I walk this way, not too far, we will see the Withlacoochee River. That's why I'm out here. 
Looks like there's several folks out here as well, enjoying the state park. A lot of cars parked back here. A lot of trails. Yeah, I'm gonna walk this way. Walk this way. I have to walk quite a bit too. I wonder where all the people are who are parked back there. I wonder if they walked this way. Very quiet. Almost a mile. Three quarters of it. Almost three quarters of a mile. Not too bad. Walked a lot in New York City last weekend. All sand. Nice sandy shell road. It seems we have come to a fork in the road. Or just a concrete post. Yeah, it looks like you can go that way. I'm gonna continue this way. I think the water's not too far from us. I will say the bugs out here, ladies and gentlemen, I should have wore bug spray. Oh my gosh, we're in the deep woods of Florida. I'm getting eaten up. So I'm gonna hurry my way out of here. So when I'm out alone, I've always got my thumb on record and I've got the camera ready to go. Because when I'm alone, you never know what's gonna pop out in front of you. Especially in places like this. Could be a Florida skunk ape coming along. Maybe a bear. Who knows, Florida panther. Always ready to hit record. It's for the vlog. Took a picture. <laughs> Made it last longer. I'm getting into thicker forest here. Nice little canopy. Palmettos. I've said this before. And I'll say it again. This is real Florida. It's so quiet out here big trees. Looks like we're going down a hill. Getting closer with Lacucci State Forest. Almost there. I guess I could have drove back here. There's a vehicle back here. I didn't know. There's a truck over here passing by. Here's some people out in the woods. 12 gauge shotgun cartridge. Okay. I will watch my six. Okay, look at this. I don't know if this is the actual river or an inlet. There are some people down here to my right. A couple of trucks. Looks like they're just having a good time lounging. Big cypress tree here. I think this might be the Withlacoochee. Hello. Wow, I think this is it. Honestly, I expected something a, a little bigger, but hey, this might be just a small, small portion of it, not so wide. I found a little walking trail. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at this. It's a better view over here. The banks of the Withlacoochee. Not very much water. You can hear the folks down the river just lounging out. I'm not alone out here. Think how quiet it would be though. Right now we'd just be hearing the airplane in the distance. Roots behind me with trees. Beer cans. Yeah, looks like a party point. Nice little stroll though. It's beautiful back here. All right, now I gotta get back. Woo, gotta walk all the way back. And it's all uphill from here. Okay, that's beautiful. All the air plants growing off the trunks of the tree there. 
the limbs look furry, don't they? What another beautiful time. I really enjoy making these videos. Thank you all for coming with me. My pleasure. Appreciate you guys watching. Tagging along. You're every bit a part of this channel as I am. And I'd love to have you back if it was your first time. And if it wasn't your first time, I'd love, you have, love to have you back again. Always love having you. <laughs> There's much ahead, my friends. So much to see in Florida and beyond. I am Tampa J, and thank you for watching Florida Roadside Attractions in Abandoned Places. Do me a favor. Give that video a thumbs up right down there. And I'll see you next time. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved no matter who you are. What you're going through. Just know. And I believe this. In my heart. There's much ahead. For you. Yes you. Alright guys. See you later. Almost back to the car. If I upload this video and you're watching it. I made it. <laughs> It's just how it works. That, or someone found this footage. The day, March 20th. Oh wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> May 20th, 2023, if anyone's keeping track. There you go. All right, much ahead. See you next time. Bye-bye.